Welcome back everyone, we are so close to the end of our stasis playthrough here and this I believe is our daughter from reading the logs and the PDAs and we need to find some way of getting access to this and it has to be to do with the power cell housing. So I've got a plan, we need to go back to the mutagen um, lab and do some minor things inside there so let's run our way back over there, look at that little creature just lying there, writhing in agony. Okay, this is this is exciting. I freaking love this, but I'm scared. I don't know what's gonna happen, but I've got an idea of what I'm doing at least. All right, so let's go into the mutagen laboratory now. I think we need to use the bone mending glue on the power cell here. Yeah, there we go. He's doing something. Now, what did we pick up there? we have picked up. Now remember there are three of these power cells I believe. There we go, we got power cell housing lock imprint. Maybe we can combine that with this maybe? Oh yes, awesome. Alright now I think this is like a key and we can open these power cells. Yes. There we go. Power cell housing. Ah, so he, he like takes all these little power cells. Alright, so now we need to find the other ones. If I remember, there's one across the... across this walkway here, inside here, I think. In the birthing laboratory. Yeah, there it is, the power cell right in the middle of the room. Alright, so let's use our little key. Unlock this. Now, if you remember where, I, what I think is our daughter, my daughter, John's daughter, there were three power cells. So, ah, so when I take these, it's like shutting down the power from everywhere, obviously. <laughs> Hear the life support just be flatlining. Come on, John, you're strong enough. We can do this. Now, there's one more in the entrance. If you remember back up here where the light is, yeah, there is closed power cell housing. All right, let's open up this one. So now we've collected two power cells. Let's use this. Go on, John, open it up. No problem, we need it. So are we going to kill our daughter or is this going to bring her back to life or what? Alright, so now we have the three. Let's go back to where our daughter is. Correct me if I'm wrong, I think it's our daughter. It must be. Right? I don't know. I do enjoy this though. <laughs> okay, so we need to go back down here. It's like a maze, this place. Here we go. Come on, John. Give her a little kiss goodbye or something. Okay, so now we've got these. Can we plug these in? No. Crazy. No, we cannot plug them in. What can we do? High temperature slug gun. What am I missing? Aha! Certain ones go in certain places. Okay. Whoa, okay. Let's try this one. Two out of three ain't bad. And the third one. What the heck's gonna happen now? Nothing. What's going on? What? Hmm. 
Ah, surgical laser. Ooh, what does this do? A newly rem remotely operated surgical model. And utterly lethal in the wrong hands. Whoopsie. Oh my god, is that my daughter or is that not my daughter? What? I've just torn her in half. A creature has been cut raggedly in half. Oh, cool. He's like destroying everything. Whoa. Oh, okay, it's opened up a new area for us. Ready? There's gonna be something gruesome for here, isn't there? Is there? Isn't there? I don't know. Warning. The environmental control and life support system has been compromised. Please report to the visitor center for further instructions. Environmental control, eh? What do we have here? Shattered glass. Well, there's nothing I can touch here. Alright. Ah, we go through this little tube. Okay, now where are we? Abnormal neural activity detected. Abnormal neural activity detected. That does not fill me with uh, confidence. I'm guessing we can't go that way because that's locked. And it says mask zone. We must have to pick up a mask from somewhere. But where? Dead hybrid in cage. The creature reeks as if it has been dead for some time. Creatures contained here are malnourished, desiccated husks. The stench is thoroughly vile, a rotten mismatch of smells that range from putrescent to death. A distended limb drops quickly to the ground. Oh! Oh! That was scary. <laughs> Restaurants on levels two and three are now closed. Can we click on the other ones? Yeah, let's click on this one. No? Huh. Dead hybrid in cage. What do we do? Is there anywhere else we can go? That takes us back out. What have we got in here? Power cell. Empty pistol. Maybe we can like. Nah, that's ridiculous. Yeah. I can try to make it fit, but it may break. These don't go well together. Hmm. What do we do here? This isn't gonna work. This isn't gonna work. Hmm, there's obviously nothing we can really do in here, so let's go back out and see what else we can find. Can we have a look through there? John, portals. Ew, look at all them bodies. Oh, cool. Look at all the distended limbs and putrefied bodies. Whoa. That is epic. Okay, come on then, John. There's obviously nothing we can do there. We can't go through there. Now where do we go? What? What's going on? Who's this guy? Is that Dr. Milan? Oh, I'm scared. This leads back to the decontamination room. <laughs> oh no, he's got me on a medical gurney. Uh-oh. Where are you taking me, Dr. Milan? I don't want to be operated on. This ain't time for that now. I don't want no extra limbs growing out of my face. Uh, Dr. Milan. Talking to you, boy. What the hell is going on, guys? Dr. Milan now has us, and we are in big trouble. The black screen does not bode well. I know why you're here. Oh. I don't know what you're talking about. 
Bullshit! Listen, Milan. Doctor Milan. Let's discuss this rationally. Enough! I'll see you soon, Miss Hazel. Give my regards to your dear. Mr. Maracek, you sneaky bastard. Not to worry, I can speed up this little family reunion. What have you done with Rebecca? She's right, yeah. Rebecca! Rebecca! You took away my life's work, Mr. Malachek. Now let me return the favor. Cage seven open. <laughs> Enjoy the show. I'm off to deal with Judas. Who's Judas? And what the hell is my daughter doing inside there? She doesn't even know I'm here. I what? Oh, hold on. John's PDT. I don't want to smash that open yet. I'm scared. Ah, they've he's taken everything from me. A DNA scanner. Use that? Gas pipes. Ah, okay, let me put my personal data tag on there, maybe. No? Oops. No, that doesn't work. Okay, let's maybe smash through this then. Rebecca, no! Rebecca, run! Kill me! Take me! Rebecca! What? Rebecca, What's going no. on? Rebecca, run! Kill me! Take me! Oh no, there's a creature Rebecca. chasing my daughter! Ah, Rebecca. Rebecca. Rebecca! Oh my god, Rebecca. that is ridiculous. I'm shocked. I'm lost for words, I don't know what to say. What? Smash our way through. Come on. Yeah, go, John. Teddy bear. <laughs> that creature may as well take me. John. I understand you're emotional. Still get Ellen. Save her. Yeah, I don't think so. He's taken my freaking daughter. And he's killed her. You need to put your daughter's DNA into the scanner. I'm living in a nightmare. I can't do this. I just can't do this. You don't have a choice. Milan is a monster. We need to find Ellen. Need to put Rebecca's blood into the scanner. Now! I guess our blood's all over the bear, so we can put that in the scanner. <laughs> Jesus, John is broken. That's, oh, that's horrible. Complete. Disposed of biological material for processing at recycling station 0314. 0314, huh? Ah, recycling drain. Looks like we can sleep now, my angel. Oh man, can you believe that? Poor John. Whoa, cool. Ooh, where are we now? Uh -huh. John? Huh? Are you there? Yes. I found her. Your wife is in the military room. A 
I'm on my way there. Military wing. Our wife. <laughs> Our wife. His wife. <laughs> Bright yellow hazmat suit. Pointlessly still protects the decomposing corpse from the toxic environment. Let's read the PDA. Dwayne H. Jones, Drainage Service Technician, Level 3. Log 1988, deleted and or damaged. Abandonment, no feeling like it. Betrayal, there's another one that cuts deep. To be betrayed and abandoned by your own family? Well, fuck, what can I say? It's been 10 years since Maggie put my name into the Progressive Assisted Selected Suicide Lottery for $10,000 cash from the government. No questions asked. They said it was a fantastic deal. All that cash and only a super slim chance that my name would be selected. The state wins in the long run, with one less welfare case, and my family gets a cash bonus. Did I have a say in this? No. So April 15th rolls along, and BAM! Just my luck, my name is picked along with a few thousand other unlucky bastards. I did the only thing I could, the only thing I've ever really done. I ran. I joined Kane Corporation and headed as far away from my blood-sucking wife as possible. I've worked my way up the ranks here. Level 3 gets me limited seed access, which means I clean up some weird and disgusting shit. But at least nobody talks to me or asks questions, so that suits me just fine. Who cares? At least I'm alive and kicking, master of my own destiny. Keeping that in mind, I've been stuck in this room for a few days now with only the dead as company. Nobody is looking for me, but at least the bodies have stopped falling into the acid vats. That green goo is my way out to a better place. A sip of that shit and I'll be assisting my own goddamn suicide. To anybody reading this, please pass this message on to my wife. Fuck you, Maggie! Oh, that's brutal. Glove. Oh, what do I need a glove for? Five Teflon fingers. How's my glove? What do I use that for? Can I get over here? Aha! Can. Right. So, metal grating. Acid. That's not good. What do I do? Okay. I'm gonna try it. It's dark. No lights. Keep your head down. And stay away from the walls. And listen. You'll hear him before you see him. Yes, okay. Okay. Alright, I guess we're off to the military wing. Hazmat glove filled with acid. How do we... Oh. Tough metal bars form a secure barrier to what lies beyond. I imagine we can corrode it maybe with this acid? Yes, it's working. And now we crawl through here. Do you think we should fill up our glove with acid before we go, though? Oh, no, it's melted. We can't. <laughs> I thought we could maybe use it as a weapon, but no. Too close. That was too goddamn close. Calm yourself. Panic and you won't make it. Focus. Breathe. Okay, where the hell does this lead to? Does this lead to the military wing? Oh my god, that is gross. <laughs> Human remains. Yeah, come in. I can hear you. I made it. I'm in the storage locker. I don't think they saw me. I'll contact you when I'm clear. I'll be waiting. Okay, there's a prosthetic arm over here. Warning. 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 Center for immediate evacuation. Uh huh. Corpse. Human remains. Where do we go? Ah, oh, maybe we can use that prosthetic limb on the door or something. No. I can try to make it fit, but it may break. Has to be something in here we have to do. Power distribution box. This electrical node facilitates power distribution through this region of the Groom Lake. 
Can we reach it with the arm? I think it's making the door work. No, it's not. Oh my god, what happened there? I killed myself. What? How did I kill myself? Okay, let's pick up the prosthetic arm again. Obviously, we don't use that for plugging into the power distribution box. It electrocuted us, I think. Hey, I made it. I'm in the storage locker. I don't think they saw me. I'll contact you when I'm clear. I'll be waiting. The processor has experienced a critical failure. Report to the center for immediate evacuation. Ah, maybe we can cover the limb. Well, maybe join these two together. Ah, okay. Aha! Prosthetic limb wrapped in rubber, so now that'll protect us from any electrocution. I'm in the limb regeneration lab. Her arms, legs. One step at a time. How close are you to Ellen? Uh, she's in a storage bay. Two floors up. I'm close. Storage bay, two floors up. Cogs. A series of interlocking teeth are wrapped around the mechanical wheels. Well, this looks like a good place to end the episode, so thank you ever so much for watching. I'll bring you the next episode tomorrow, and we'll see if we can actually complete this story. Thanks, everyone. Take care. Bye-bye.